Hello and welcome to series of five with three different kinds of variations. We will need a block and um, we are going to start with some cat cows to warm up the spine and a down dog and then we'll come into our series of five to strengthen the front side and get some good mobility and stability to hips shoulders and the entire core that I'm hoping will transfer over to our yoga practice and help us there as well to stay all tuned up and plugged in. So let's come to all fours, please. Spread the fingers, second finger forward, tuck the toes under and start by arching the spine up to the sky and exhaling all the air out and inhaling, elongating out more lengthening this spine and dropping it down. And then exhale, bring the belly button in, expand the spine to the sky, and inhale, long spine. We'll do one more, and then exhale, bring it all the way up to the sky, big hollow belly, and exhale, bringing it all the way back out to neutral and coming to downward facing dog, stretching your right heel and your left heel and Achilles and calf. Inhale and exhale, giving yourself a couple of pedals back and forth just to get the back of the legs ready for series of five. Unless this might not be your first practice of today, then maybe you're warmed up or maybe it's a warm up for something else or a cool down for something else. So we'll take one more breath right here. And walking the feet over to the hands, hinging and folding expanding the back body and then we'll come all the way down and take the block for the back of the head and we'll start with series of five with the head on the block and getting a good um, uh, warm up for the belly and for the front side for our other two series of five so from here hands next to the hips and from here bring your knees into the chest taking your right leg forward, left hand inside the knee and the right hand outside, perfect. And then we'll do a double tap in and a double tap in and double in and double in and emptying the air out from the abdominals and strengthening the whole front side by giving ourselves a little push in. This is the last one. And then we'll take both knees in to the chest, hug it in, extend arms and legs opposite direction, circling the arms, squeeze the legs in and resisting, extending arms and legs out, hands and ankles, exhaling, emptying the air out and bringing it back in and exhaling, holding the front side together, lower back is on the mat, last one, taking arms and legs opposite direction and then we'll take the right leg up and we'll do a double pulse and double pulse and double pulse and double pulse and by having the head on the block it's like we get a nice buffer and a nice awareness into the whole spine especially that lower back in towards the mat to build the strength in the front last one and then from here both legs up, double leg stretches, dropping the legs and bringing them back up, only dropping them as far down as that lower back stays in the mat with a front support. Exhaling and inhaling and exhaling and inhaling. We'll do one more. And then from here, we'll bend the knees and come to bicycle. Since the block and the head is having a nice supportive little meeting, we'll use the legs only and leave the head down. And we'll do another two bicycles here and one more. And then we'll bring the knees in and then we roll ourselves up and come through our cat cow and our down dog before the second round of a different version of series of five. So let's come to all fours and buffer that into the front side, exhaling and inhaling, lengthening and exhaling, hands, knees, toes down and 
inhaling and exhaling. Bringing the spine up to the sky and slowly coming back to neutral. I'm hoping that you're feeling like a little bit of gripping from the abdominals from our first series of five sessions. So here we go, coming into down dog, elephant version, heels down, press the palms, pull the belly in, and kind of go find all of those front muscles that we used just now in the first series of five. Let's come with the feet over to the hands and inhale long spine and exhale fold and gently come all the way back down. Just gonna sit back down and this time around, certainly put the block under the head so that you feel connected in your lower back and in your core into the mat and stabilizing the exercise rather than feeling like it's all up in the neck. But if it's available, come down onto your mat, bring the knees into the chest and right leg stays in, left hand inside, right hand outside, lifting the shoulder blades off of the mat and double pulse in and double pulse in and double pulse in and double pulse in. Shoulder blades are lifting, neck is relaxed and the core is holding on to all parts. Last one and then from here double knee stretches. Bring your ankles and your hands together, squeeze everything in. Exhale, arms and legs opposite direction, circling the hands, exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale and inhale, squeezing the legs together, squeezing the abdominals. We'll do one more right here. And then from here, take your right leg up to the sky, double pulse, switch, double pulse, switch, double pulse, switch, double pulse, double pulse, double pulse, and double pulse. And we'll do one more each side, double pulse and double pulse. Both legs up, hands behind the head. Keep the shoulder blades lifted. If we needed to, we'll put the hands underneath the sacrum and then we'll do drop our legs and bring them back up. Maybe it's a few inches on the very top. Maybe some of you are dropping your legs all the way down. We'll do three more here. Three and using that core and building a nice foundation all the way from the very deepest part all the way to the outer layers and then we'll come up with the legs bend the knees a bicycle elbow to knee and elbow to knee and elbow to knee and elbow to knee and we'll go for another five right here five and four keep the shoulder blades lifted lifted from the mat and three more and two more and last one bring your knees into the chest oh, and take a little pause okay let's come on back up to tabletop and do another three cat cows before we come to the third series of five with our forearms on the mat so for here tabletop tuck the toes arch the spine up to the sky top of the head towards the mat Engage all the muscles that we just worked. And then inhale, extend all the way out. Press the hands, the knees, the toes, but lift up at the same time. And inhaling, lengthening out and exhaling, bringing your belly all the way in. And then slowly come to center, plug the upper arm bones, hold on to the front side and come to your dog elephant version. Stretching the back of the legs. Bring your feet to the hands, inhale long spine, and exhale fold. Come down to your seat, and then we'll come all the way down onto our forearms. I'm gonna pull my sleeves up so I stick to the mat. Take the hands either to the side of the hips. I like to put them right underneath my sacrum. So it's up in the sacrum tip, and then my fingers kind of fan out to the side too help me to stay plugged in and get that little extra lift for the 
pelvic floor to be able to plug into something so that we're actually using the front side. So here we are, series of five on to our forearms. I call this beach style, me hanging out on the beach. Right knee into the chest, double tap, and left double tap, and right double tap, and left double tap, and right and left exhale and inhale and we'll do one more on the right one more on the left and then bringing both knees in and extend out and bringing it in and extending out and in and back out and two more and it should be a nice little burn into the abdominals and then from here right leg up double pulse switch double pulse switch double pulse switch double pulse double pulse and keep it going for two more and one more and then we'll take the legs up for double leg stretches bringing them down and back up maybe it's an inch on the top maybe some of you drop your legs all the way down and We'll do another two more here and one more and bring it back up bend the knees bicycle it out for five four and three and two and one and then we'll bring the knees in and cross come to tabletop one more round of cat cow arch the spine see if you can find those abdominals and really bring them into the cat cow so it's not just like a arching of the spine and separating shoulder blades but it's holding on from the front side one more exhale all the air out and inhale coming back to neutral plug the arm bones tuck the toes down dog walk your hands forward this time a little bit and give yourself a nice big wide down dog and see if you can hold on to the down dog by engaging the abdominals upper and lower body all of the abdominals we just did we give ourselves another breath right here and then come up on the toes bend the knees step or hop inhale long spine and exhale fold top of the head towards the mat and slowly come all the way back to a seat and we are complete for our session to do three different kinds of series of five and plugging it in with a down dog and I hope you feel plugged in and invigorated maybe to jump in to another session with me or maybe this was the end of your day and you're like okay I'm done so if that's the case please do take your shavasana with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next session here on YouTube or some of you I know I see on Zoom during my classes at the Long Cone Library in Norwood. And um, I look forward to connecting with you wherever we are meeting, real, here or there. So um, thank you for joining and namaste. Press the head and adjust the shoulder blades and take your very well-deserved rest. And maybe you're feeling like a little lengthening in the abdominals and then maybe a little rewiring as you're taking your resting pose, whether you call it Shavasana or if you call it resting. I'll see you in the next session. Thank you so much.